hump day Wednesday everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today I am so excited about um, today's video it's another 2021 summer mood board reveal um, yes I am wrapping up my summer sewing and I am so excited to show you what I made today. As you can tell by the title, it is the fold over clutch for those who have been following. And if you have not, consider subscribing and consider hitting that bell and consider thumbs up the video on your way out. But for those who have been following, you know I had my colors done and I chose a certain color palette for the summer, my summer mood board, and I chose nine looks. I'll leave the uh, video with all of that information up here. I won't go back over all of that. But as you all know, this um, handbag here, this clutch was a inspiration look <clears throat> that I wanted to recreate. And I wanted to use the Phoebe fold over clutch, which is by Georgia Girl Stitches. And so, yay, I have finished it. I, I am so in love with this. It's time for me to switch out my other crossover, which matched this. You all saw that. It's a, I wore that thing out. And usually I wear like crossovers like that when I'm quick running errands and different stuff like that. And so, um, but I, I, I am in love, in love, in love, in love. So let me go ahead and jump into uh, the full review for this fold over clutch. So you all know um, that the one of the main colors that I love out of all my colors is purple. And so this actually um, will go very well. It's going to transition into fall and totally something for the summer uh, but it will transition to my fall winter um, because as it stands I don't have another handbag wallet just yet that I've settled on for fall and winter but my fold over clutch I'm sharing with you today and then the um, uh, handbag that I'll be making that's also part of the mood board um, those are ones I'll be making plus a wallet but there is another handbag I want to do but anyway I am so excited. So this particular um, handbag is labeled as experienced beginner. Um, and I would definitely agree um, because you do have to measure and cut all of the pattern pieces. Usually I'm not a fan of that in any pattern where I have to measure and cut only because I usually don't trust my measuring and my cutting. Um, I don't mind printing off handbag pattern pieces and just cutting everything out, but you do have to measure and cut. So make sure that you build time in for that because truly this is not a very long so you can get it sewn up in the afternoon I did around five hours just you know stop and pause in here and there different stuff like that but I would say five hours six hours total you can have this sewn up relatively um, quick and once again with the instructions you all know I've made a previous handbag from Georgia Girl Stitches. I'll link that up above, but her instructions are so, so good. Um, it's, and usually I love, 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 love. You all know I'm a visual learner and I usually love sew alongs that come with handbag patterns. Um, but I can say for her patterns, as long as you're reading it, she doesn't leave anything out. She she would even put things in parentheses that you might be thinking yourself as you're putting it together. And she'll say, don't worry, da 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 or something to that effect. So you know that you are on uh, the right track. Um, I am wearing, because I know somebody will ask, I am wearing Cosito Studio, the Anop dress. And I will link to that up above and down in the description box below. So yeah, that's what I have on um, today. Usually I always get this question, so I'll just throw in a quick clip. I prepare all of my um, handbags the same way, where I would um, put all of the um, um, items that I'll need, the hardware, zippers, all of that, in a container, and I will just work out of that as I'm working on whatever project handbag wallet. Um, for those who um, also ask, because um, I always get this question too, um, is about store how do i store all my handbag items i will uh put in a clip here showing you um, my little storage um how i store everything and label everything and and all of that for my hardware so hopefully that answers that question because i always always get that 
So let's go ahead and jump into this pattern. Um, the finished measurement is it's 10 and a half inches wide by seven inches high. And it has a rear exterior zipper pocket, which I will show you. It has a built-in wallet um, with zipper pockets and car slots love um it has a shallow interior zipper pocket and um you have the option of doing a wrist strap or a um shoulder strap i did a crossbody strap so the strap in the pattern calls for 44 to be 44 inches long minus 58 inches long which i just did the length of my um more leather which i'll tell you everything um where i had picked everything up now for um let me just kind of show you here she is oh my gosh i absolutely love it see here's my strap because the way i would wear this out let me just back up and show you i wanted it to hit um below like right at my hip so it's below my waist so that's how i wanted mine to hit so i made my strap longer <clears throat> again you can choose to do that as well but let me show it to you isn't she gorgeous and do you all see if you saw my um haul video when i show all the fabrics for all my mood board items um you all know i had a major haul from emmeline bags in full disclosure i have a wholesale account with emmeline bags so i ordered a bunch of stuff just because not just for um me for this but for other things i'm working on as well but anyway here she is, and this is the Harris Tweed, and this is the um, the Morifo Leather in the color Grape. Isn't she, absolutely, let me pull this up. Isn't she beautiful? And yes, I have my um, tag on here. I chose, I chose for the um, Hardware Rainbow um because i knew i was doing this color combination and so i wanted all my hardware to be rainbow um here is the back this is that rear zipper pocket um you do have the clasp closure here let me open that up for you so you can see um what that looks like and the good thing about the pattern i will say the pattern piece um because it is measure and cut so when you do attach this you can close this up first just to see if you want it more snug or not. And I did end up cutting this particular piece down um, quite a bit because I wanted mine a little bit more snug. And um, so yeah, that is how she opens. And so she has these nice little features where she have the snaps, you use spring snaps here. I'm sure you can use magnetic snaps. Um, I don't see why you couldn't, but I ha have spring snaps and you all know I have two table presses. Once again, I have done a full review and comparison between my can cam snap and my gold star um press i will link that up above so you can go check that out as well um here on my channel but you can use um, magnetic snaps you can use magnetic snaps because you do have the class closure and then you have the spring snap so i have spring snaps and i use my cam cam snap um for that because that's where i got my um uh spring uh snaps from so you do have that here is the um the uh card slots you have i want to say is one two three four eight you do have eight and here is the then you have the top pocket where you can put dollar bills or whatever but then you have all of your cards here everything fits absolutely perfect and as you can see these um side uh are also where where you would use so it depends on what you want to use your rear um uh panel as I decided obviously to use the Harris Tweed. And so whatever you use up here, you can use here or you can switch it up and do whatever the heck you, you wanna do. Um, lots of options. But um, so my Harris Tweed and my more faux leather and grape came from Emmeline Bags. All of my hardware, um, the zippers I can tell you 100% came from my handmade space. That's typically where I, I buy a lot of um, my uh, zipper by the yard and then the zipper pulls came from and look at that one isn't that cute that's a little handbag that one came from my handmade space i want to say i already had these in my stash and i think they're from more me um but 
yes and then the um all of these uh swivel class and all that i remember i ordered that when i placed my huge order with emmeline bags so i know all of that came from emmeline bags i didn't need any rivets um obviously the harris tweed label comes with the tweed when you get it and i still have a bunch of this tweed left so i forget how much um was it a yard no it wasn't quite a yard I, no but maybe it was a half a yard no it was a half a yard so obviously i didn't use much for this accent piece so i have plenty of that left so far as the um this here uh lining piece which if i just open up this interior pocket which this thing has so many nice pockets and everything in here so if you can see there's a pocket on the inside you have the zipper pocket on the outside isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? And this is a batik. This is a batik, which is absolutely gorgeous. I intended to use a different batik that um, I think I showed in that video, um, but I wanted to use this. Um, and I got this from, I cannot remember the fabric store, but it was the fabric store when I did, um, when we went to San Antonio for my birthday earlier this year. Um, I'll link to it up above um, and I'll, try to remember to put on the screen the place but it's a shop in um san antonio we went to a few fabric stores and so that's where i picked up this batik and then of course you have the zipper across the top and it goes all the way down and then of course you have another so this has a lot of compartments right you are not wanting for any compartments because once you open it up you have the interior zipper as well and so, yeah, isn't in this one I use the handbag uh, zipper pull. This one I use the flower. I use two flowers and two, yeah, here's my two flowers, flower, flower, and then um, the handbag on the outside, and then the, the handbag on the inside. So that is what I use. And of course my, if you can tell, hopefully you can tell my zipper tape is rainbow. So it's, it's a rainbow design, purple with the rainbow design. So I absolutely love it. So now I'm gonna switch out the one I have been wearing with this <laughs> that matches this um, all summer long. And so I am so, so this will get worn out because this will stay, this is one, um, I don't know if anybody's like this, that one, you know, clutch or whatever something like this that you use all the time when you're running errands this just stays you know in that spot where i just grab it and go so when i make my other handbag that will be more for if we're going somewhere and maybe out to dinner or something we're going to be out for a while or um running a full day of errands like this here type of errand is i'm only going to be gone for maybe an hour or two when i'm back but usually we run longer errands and everything or go out date night or something like that it could be either this or my next bag that i'll be working on but i absolutely love this it is so pretty i am so happy with this handbag and so yeah i don't have anything else to say about it the only other thing i will say is i do plan on purchasing some edge coat um because um this here yeah you can see that um i want to edge coat that um certain parts i think that was the only part oh and then the edge of my um so when you attach put the rivet on and that edge that shows um i read i want to use edge coat uh, for that which i can always apply later and so um I, I do plan to order um some edge coat um so i can uh, start using that to kind of help finish and clean off my bags yes i have all my edges lined up and everything so yeah i am so happy with that i absolutely love it in my favorite color and of course just like garments usually for handbags and stuff the, the most recent one you have made is your favorite and this is my favorite i i know for a fact the next um handbag and wallet that i make will be my favorite all will be my favorites these absolutely love 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 so i think that is all i wanted to uh share with you i will leave a link to 
all of the shops that I mentioned down below and um, where you can find the, the Mora faux leather, um, the Harris tweed, um, the, um, <clears throat> the online stores that I, I purchased some things. One of the things I did use under the, the, the Harris tweed, um, I interfaced it with the, um, casting handcrafted so fuse, which is a very, a nice sturdy. It's not, um, it's not a Decaville that heavy. Um, and it's even, even lighter than a Decaville light but it's like right there on the edge if you're familiar with Decaville light. I her stuff, casting handcrafted stuff is phenomenal and I just love how it get, gave it some extra body um to to my tweed. And I did not um um interface. I didn't put Decaville or anything on the bottom. I wanted this to be nice and soft. I didn't I didn't want anything on this. And I tell you sewing up this um um the tweed I used my um, denim needle and I um, used the Guterman 70 weight thread and um, sewing up this tweed, sewing up this top stitch. All my top stitching is beautiful. Of course, I used my walking foot when I needed to top stitch along the uh, for, um, the Mora, um, but this stuff sews up like butter. This it is. Ooh, it it's just. It's a faux leather, but I mean, it looks, it's faux leather, but <laughs> it, it looks like regular leather. I absolutely love, love, love this. And I love the way that it turned out. I have no, um, like I said, that's the only adjustment I made in the pattern. So far as the strap, I would do edge coat. Do pay attention to when you need to apply your um, labels and everything on the front and where you want to apply them. Because initially I was thinking I wanted a label down here, but I knew since I didn't interface this or um, put anything more sturdy behind it, I decided um, to put them both at, up at the top. And I love how that turned out. Love the way that looks. And so um, that's the only other thing. There is nothing that stood out to me in the instructions. However, I will say um, I do know that um, she is very, uh, Joy is very particular about um, her instructions and everything before her patterns are released. So I didn't find you know, you know, little quirky things or, or errors or, oh, that should be right sides together or some, you know, little things like that. You can still find, um, and patterns, um, even after they're released, just little things. And I didn't find any of that. And I didn't make a note. Let me just look. I did not make a note throughout this entire pattern because that's truly, truly how good her instructions are. Joy is phenomenal uh, with her instructions. And so, yeah, that's it. I have nothing else. I am so very happy with this. Um, make sure you stay tuned for, I'll have more pictures. I'm um, The pictures you would have seen on Instagram and all of that, um, I'll share even more pictures because I'm posting this, I'm styling this actually with a garment that's part of a test, which I'm thinking you should have see that on Sunday. But again, I might have to hold off and you might get another um, one of my summer uh, mood board looks coming up on Sunday. We shall see. Like I said, if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up this video on your way out. That helps me more than you know. And um, hit and make sure you hit that notification bell. But this is it this is it thank you everybody so much for tuning in please let me know what you think of my new handbag my new clutch i absolutely love 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 it all right everybody you all have a blessed rest of your week and we will see you on sunday bye